Nonviolence International's longtime director, Michael Beer, has recently published his first book, Civil Resistance Tactics in the 21st Century, in which he updates and expands on Jean Sharp's seminal text, Training the World in the Values of Nonviolent Tactics. Why did you write this book? Why now in 2021? I believe that nonviolence will save humanity and improve our lives. Dr. King said we have a choice between nonviolence and non-existence. I don't think he was exaggerating. We really do have enormous problems in front of us. Climate change, ecological collapse, nuclear weapons, pollution, um, economic disparities, social disparities, militarism. Nonviolence is really the only, or at least the major route at which we are going to be able to solve these problems. Navas means everybody cooperating together in some way to save this planet. The national governments are not likely to be able to do this by themselves. In fact, they may destroy the planet. We're not likely to see armed actors or somebody with a big gun uh, come and try to solve these problems. It's up to us to do this cooperatively. Uh, sometimes outside of the institutions that aren't working appropriately. And my book is written because we really need a book that surveys the field of nonviolent action today and shows people the incredible diversity of action and tactics that people are using. We talk about indigenous blockades against resource extraction in the Amazon anti-corruption hunger strikes in Russia, street protests against dictators in the Middle East and North Africa, illegal same gender weddings in India, and whale protection by boat interventions in the Antarctic Ocean. This is just a small sliver of the nonviolent actions that we talk about in the book and that we have also listed in our global tactics database that goes along with the book. We have a database that has incredible amounts of uh, stories and examples and tactics of nonviolence that we want you to uh, use and to help us grow. Please send us stories, examples of tactics that you're aware of in photographs so that we can include them in the database and build a global database that everybody can benefit from. So this book is short. It has lots of stories of nonviolent action that I think will inspire uh, and share the incredible creativity of people around the world. And this was the kind of book that needs to get into classrooms. It needs to inspire young people. They need to know that there are things that they can do in all different kinds of situations, even repressive circumstances. And we do have governments, both authoritarian and even democratic ones that are closing the common space for doing action. But people are going to resist and people are going to keep pushing. And this book, I think in their hands, in your hands, uh, will be a valuable tool for that end. So please join us, read the book, get it distributed, help out with the global database. And more importantly than just reading the book and getting knowledge, be inspired to do something because knowledge is not enough. We need your action. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. The book is available for free download on Nonviolence International's website and for purchase online. And I really hope that everyone takes the time to read this truly inspiring book.